Here at Hammond Industries, we provide the best in personnel and top personnel military hardware, all to ensure that humanity's dominance over the universe is safe and secure. But as I'm sure a lot of you know, doing what's best for the future isn't always cheap. And with natural resources dwindling, we have pursued other ventures as to attain the minerals that we desire. Now, some media outlets have shown that we have been going against some resistance attacking our cargo ships. Those would be the natives of the world. At first, we tried to pay them a generous amount and offered to move them off world, but the savages attacked us, screaming how it was their land. And yes, sadly, there were casualties. <laughs> well, given how they acted, I can't see how those could have been avoided. Truthfully, there are a few worlds where we have prospects on. And if those savage gorillas would try to hinder our progress, well, then they will soon learn that the side that typically wins war is the side with the most money! Stand by for Titanfall. My mother always told me when I was younger, Reject! You should go out there and try new things. Don't be afraid to experience life. So I, in my infinite wisdom, decided to go out and have sex with a 400 pound female. Now keep in mind that I only weigh around 180 pounds myself. So after trying a fancy sexual maneuver, I threw out my back and since I've been laid up in bed for the past few days. So I ended up having my cousin bring over his Xbox One and I got to play a little Titanfall. So here's a review of it for you. Now there are or were a lot of mech games in the past. Armored Core, Mech Warrior, Exteo, and just recently Hawken, to name a few. But this time we're getting more of a land based grunt battle with mech combat thrown in, brought to us by the guys who improved the Call of Duty series so much. Now, outside of the lack of a true story, Titanfall actually has a lot going for it. The game is truly multiplayer based and I know that there are a bunch of people out there who bought the game and didn't even realize that it was multiplayer based because they don't read and or pay attention. But for all of the reasonably sane people out there, the game is very well balanced. Since the main crust of this game involves competing with others in split second decision making, the controls of the game reflect it well and the way you can maneuver your character around the terrain feels very responsive. You see, unlike a lot of other shooters, Titanfall wishes for you to be constantly on the move and forces the game to have a more of a evolving sense of battle. Camping in one spot will not work for long when the big daddy titans appear and your cover means shit when they start launching their triple grenades. But the overpowered titans are a godsend for keeping the battle from getting stale. Whether you wish to control it, have it shadow you, or just hop along for the ride like a lovesick puppy, they are always something to take notice of. And within my first two hours of playing the game, a player showed me that skill in a titan can be incredibly important, as I saw my teammate in a weak looking strider titan take out two ogre titans and shout his personal victory speech which I swear that I'm going to be using from now on with his YOU WANT SOME? YOU WANT SOME? WELL COME ON BITCH! I don't know what took over me, but I felt proud for the little guy because he worked his ass off for those kills. But from what I've played, since they decided to skip out on the story mode, the game boasts a large amount of multiplayer maps to fight on, which ensures that things will be interesting for quite some time as the terrain variety is quite nice. One thing I didn't notice though was the ability for me to like set up private matches with friends and such, but perhaps I just missed out uh, and couldn't find it because I'm a little bit medicated at the moment, so maybe I missed that. Graphically though, the game is nothing really to write home about, but at the same time, it serves its purpose, so you won't really be complaining about it. So all in all, the game isn't perfect, but the studio behind it understood exactly what, it, what they wanted to do, and they truly delivered on it. The score of this game is a 2. Titanfall is a good game. 
but some people may take issue with it costing full price and not having a dedicated single player campaign. But I explained why I think that this is okay in my previous video, and I know that this review isn't as funny as my others, but I tried to fuck a rhino and I hurt my back. Please excuse me as I take a little nap.